Hi everyone, it's Lauren here. So today we're going to be looking through my memory box, looking back at some of my memories from my life. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoy this. I'm just doing this for a bit of fun, but yeah, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of my content. Let's go! So here's my memory box from through the years. Yes, it's a very big box, but I'm going to show you guys it because why not? You get to make it to know me a bit better, so yeah. So first off, we have an invitation for when I did a movie night for my parents at Primary 7. Basically, we made our own films and our parents came to see them. So and this says, to mum and dad, Primary 7s invite you to our fantastic film premiere. This spectacular event will take place on Thursday, 23rd of May at 1.45pm in the VIP Scream and Theatre Room. Just the classroom, just to let you know that. Hope you can come. Dress code smart if you don't come smart you are kicked out from lauren so yeah that's that this is my um recipe from the chef rochu competition that i did in s6 of high school i made a spicy chicken i had to follow all the methods and the ingredients perfectly to make the perfect spicy chicken and then i put the spicy chicken into a lovely savory rice and i had to use the ingredients and methods and yeah i didn't get through but at least I tried, you know, and there's always next year. This is a whole essay about my best friend Liam <laughs> from from like primary and high school. Obviously we're still best friends, I wouldn't mention her if we weren't best friends, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to read this out because she'd probably cringe if I read this out on a YouTube blog, so I'm not going to read this out, but yeah, a whole paragraph of Leah. I don't, I don't know how I got the time to write a whole paragraph about one person but okay, I've read it to her before, so she knows what it's about. Well, I have read it to her like a couple of years ago. She might not even remember, to be honest, but you know. <laughs> Next up, I have a design thing for my cake deck class in S6. So basically, I was going to make a gingerbread house. This totally failed, so my gingerbread house completely collapsed. I didn't even get a chance to decorate it. But yeah, that's how my gingerbread house was meant to look. But it ended up being a disaster, so we didn't get to that part in the end. I think this is from class six. I'm not really too sure, but I think I did this in first year. So yeah, it's just like a, a card I wrote to Apollo, basically. But with all decorated and that. I can't really remember doing this, but I think it might probably be in first year. So here's some facts about 14 year old Lauren on paper. So I would share the, I would share money and go clothes shop. And you just answer some questions. I wouldn't, uh, let me think. Yes, I love to live. Life's so cool because life's beautiful. I agree. For the most part, anyway. Nothing really. Well, boys are annoying. I just said boys are annoying as 14. And funny because when I was like older, I just got so obsessed with boys. You know what I mean? Like, I'd see boys on TV like, oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> so that's really weird. Uh, a pet, I love pet, it says in here, I love penguins. They're cute. I could swim on, and I can swim underwater with them. Uh, the first impression I get most people have of me is I'm socially awkward at first, which is still true. Uh, I would go to New York or somewhere snowy on a holiday, which I still want to do. Um, my I love Little Mix because they're incredible. I put on here. I still do like Little Mix. I think Jessie's an absolute fighter. Like she's been she's put up with so much for so long and stayed so strong. And like, I just love Little Mix as a whole thing. They're really nice girls. Like, from what you see, see, they just seem like really cool and I love their music. So, uh, I like, I like Seven Years. So, oh, that's such a good song. It's so nice, but so sad, but it's good. And I love the song Avril Lavigne, Boyfriend. Oh yeah, I love Avril Lavigne so much. But I actually prefer her song, I'm With You, than Boyfriend, because that song's got such a beautiful meaning, you know? Um, and... I, I, I like to be chatty and fun would be good. <laughs> uh, what do I hate in school? The buildings, the bullies and the chewing gum on the tables. Oh, the chewing gum on the tables. I find that absolutely disgusting. Yeah, I found some things about 14 year old Lauren and some of it is actually still the same. <laughs> this was a card I made for Damien before we started dating. I was going to give it to him but I got too nervous and thought he's probably going to clinch at this because there's so much to it. But basically I wrote this for him and it's like a big book of like loads of things I wrote about. You can see I put a lot of effort into this but yet didn't give it to him. So basically it says, to Damien, it's been a year since I met you. At first I didn't even think that we'd become best friends, let alone best friends. Anyway, I find it different to explain in word, difficult to explain in words how I really felt about you so I feel this is the best way 
we love to bake. Oh, we've got a little baking man. Oh, that's too high. <laughs> little baking man. Because <laughs> we just love baking. We did craft baking and cake deck together. That's how we got to know each other, you see. So that's why I decided to draw that. This book of mine has mainly got like schoolwork in it, but I just noticed this picture of Leah. <laughs> That's such a scary picture. Like I must have been like bored in study or something, decided to draw that. But yeah, it says baby pumpkin Leah. <laughs> yeah, a bit clingy. <laughs> this is my love notepad. Now we're not gonna go into this because most of the pages is about me talking about my crush, and I don't really want to talk about that because that wasn't Damien's. So if it was Damien, it'd be okay reading that because it's a past crush, probably not. But I'm gonna read at this page. You can see this is me and this is my family that I've drawn here. And then I wrote Lauren's Notepad 2018. I'm Lauren, I'm a 17 year old girl in my last year in school. This was my memories in sixth year and for memories outside school at the age of 17. For happy, funny, and weird memories only, no sad memories allowed. And yeah, I've just like written like loads in here. Do, do, do. Here's my Attable Ticket in F6, which is an incredible memory, so I keep that in there. So I find this really interesting. So basically the subjects I put in green are the subjects I definitely want to take an S for. So for me it was Spanish, German, fashion, English and maths. Obviously English and maths I had to do for S4. I love English but I hate maths, as you guys know. Um, I don't like Spanish anymore. I did like it, but then doing the exam I just got really put off it. And German I didn't do, thank God. Um, I did fashion, but that was like really stressful. The machines constantly breaking down. So it's funny out of all these subjects, the only one I actually like now is English. And then Amber, I put drama, home mech, DT, and I actually prefer home mech. I actually prefer cooking and baking to like fashion and Spanish because it's just a lot more easier for me. Um, drama, I'm not really into anymore. I loved it at the time, but not into it now. And then the red physics, computer, and business and all that. I still hate all of them. I hate computers. Have no patience with them. And physics, have no patience with that either. This poster is about what makes you stress. So what makes you stress is being ill. Well, obviously no one wants to be ill. The driver going slow and just want to get home. Well, that's still really annoying. People who stop all of a sudden on the streets. Oh, like I just want to get to the shop. Is it that much to ask? Packets now are being filled up to the top. Yeah, I always get bad crips. It's always like a quarter full. It's really annoying. My mum constantly asks that I have homework and I'm capable of doing it myself. Yeah, just, that used to really annoy me when I was younger. She's not on top of me now, so like, I'm like 19, but she used to be a lot. Um, <laughs> sorry, mum, you're great, but it was just a bit annoying at the time. <laughs> People arguing, not making good decisions. Yeah, I hate high school arguments. And some of the things they argued over were really stupid, weren't they? Remember my lines for a poem or a play? Yeah, that can be quite stressful, but I was always actually quite good at it. Um, wearing, young people wear way too much makeup. Like those, so I... Looking like their eyebrows make makeup is inappropriate for teenagers. Well, at the time I thought it'd be wrong for kids to wear so much makeup and then I realised they're doing it because they feel insecure and that sometimes they use makeup as a cover up to feel more comfortable. So I understand why they do it now. At the time it really annoyed me, but I do get it now that I do psychology, you know. Kids have iPhones when they're just kids. Yeah, I agree. I feel like a kid shouldn't have a phone until at least 11 so they can get used to it for high school. Before then it's just way too early. And word, word one word text. Oh, don't get me started. You can't even have a conversation with that. You're just like... There's nothing I can say to that. Uh, so I made this in my fourth year of high school. No, fifth year actually. And I, I love it. I think it looks really, really good. But yeah, it's one of my favourite things I made in fashion. It's like awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. I like that. I really wish I made this into a pillow actually, but I just did my daughter because that's the task. But I like it. So this booklet is Discover Your Personality with the Buzz. So the animal I got was... Da -da -da. Yeah, I think I got the teddy bear, I think. So the teddy bear is warm and friendly, practical and realistic, decisive and consistent, enthusiastic, helpful, helpful and sociable, um, thrilled and socialising, keeping others involved and happy with, while staying focused on clear practical outcomes, wants to be appreciated by others, loyal and respects tra tradition, and preferred roles, provider, organiser, host, hostage, to reduce stress, don't try and be perfect all the time, chill, and job course f um, fiends, Organising sin services for people, health service work, confesses, hospitality, catering, tourism, marketing, hairdressing, advice, primary teaching, but to be quite honest with you, I'm not really into any of that, but that was my personality basically. Oh, another personality one. Me and my friends decided to like circle different personalities because the teacher said if you 
all get like the same personality you have to move to the table with different personalities so you're all around different personalities so me and my friends are like we all sit at the same table so let's all do different personalities so i chose monkey even though it wasn't quite fitted to me but it was sort of fit to me if you see what i mean so it's monkeys are sociable animals they like to spend their time in the company of others and they're always interested in anything and anyone new this animal can be allocated with people who are very active energetic enthusiastic and like to party well i saw myself more as a bear which bears are home lovers and like to be around close family and friends a person with this characteristic might be caring and kind to look up for those they care about considering the feelings of others before their their own they'd also take pleasure from the achievement of others over their own so i saw myself more as being that but we want to all stay at the same table <laughs> so here's a certificate from this the the circus stars thing that I did in primary six I used to do these reading challenges like at the end of the school year and you'd have to read like six books during the course of the summer so yeah I did quite a few of these and it's just like one of them I did this one's a story lab which I did um yeah it's this like year after yeah well the first one was when I came just into primary six this one was when I started primary seven and then I did the creepy house end of primary seven before going to first year. And this is like the last one I did basically. But yeah, we'd get all these like, these like things to go with it. And in the end we'd get a medal for being an incredible reader. And I actually was the first person to finish on the story lab challenge. And yeah, I, I got the medal first. This is a book that I got about Seglobia. So basically I went to Madrid on the Spanish exchange, the best experience ever, one of the best holidays I've ever been on. Yeah, this is Seglobia, because I went to Seglobia for one of my days out, and it was really good. It's a really nice, beautiful place. And this is the map of Seglobia. So this is where we went. It was really cool. But yeah, I had a really good day there, and it was good fun. I must admit, some of the stuff in here isn't worth showing you guys, to be honest, but some of it is. But yeah, basically, this one is The Nine Lives of Roggy Hawk. And basically, this is a, like a, a road safety play I was going to be presenting in S3. But because we left it so late, we couldn't present it. So like other years managed to present and we couldn't. So it's really disappointing because I was really looking forward to be able to like present this in front of the whole of assembly. It would be such a good opportunity, but we didn't get the time to because we left it too late. It was a shame, really. I can't remember. I think, who was I going to play in it? Actually, I've highlighted. Oh, Ross, this is my lens. See so, yeah, how you see the yellow highlight? That's me. That's who I was meant to play. We didn't go ahead. And I learned all the lines off by heart as well. So again, that was a waste of time because we learned something else. <laughs> but you know, these things happen. So, dear God, my voice is hurting. How long have I actually been doing this for? But yeah, this is about me doing a Christmas talk for my Christmas Eve video that I looked at in 2004. It was so funny. I'm going to just read out the funny parts because this could go on all day again. So basically on Christmas we got we we opened a present and it was a Shrek DD and I went Shrek! I got really really excited my voice went really high pitched and then my sister got really excited when she saw an Alexa doll and she went Alexa <laughs> But yeah it was like so so funny and then there's a bit where my mum's my dad snapped I think. Yeah so Jade and I kept getting out of our seats and dad finally told us to get back to our seats now <laughs> And my mum got a bit snappy at one point as well, from what I'm aware of. And mum tried to film the Brussels sprout, but I wasn't having it. <laughs> but yeah, it was really funny and I really enjoyed like presenting this because it was a good laugh. Oh, this is a talk I did in S2 about a person you really, really, a famous person you really, really like. So I did this on Katy Perry because I love Katy Perry at the time. And basically, um, I put on, when I hear the song Roar by Katy Perry, I feel like I'm in a jungle. And everyone laughed at that part, it was funny. But yeah, again, I'm not going to read this because it's been going on for long enough, this video, hasn't it? But yeah, it was pretty cool. Here's some things I did for fashion. So here's like a few fabrics I wrote and I was writing down what they are. I did these, lots of these Nest 5, like fashion designs. Yeah, I think they all look all right. But yeah, it's like just some stuff I did. I really, really, really hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I definitely lost my voice while doing this since I had so much to say. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed seeing all my memories. And yeah, I'll be back for another vlog on Wednesday from another autism acceptance vlog. So I really hope you guys will enjoy that. But yeah, anyway, bye for now. Be on voice for us for the rest of the night. <laughs>